Welcome back guys to another episode of Red Dead Redemption. Let's see if we can find Arthur a mission. What's happened here? Maybe I should help this girl. You get your hands off her! You brought your damn self to ruin! Help that poor girl. Okay, I helped her alright. Okay, it seems like I'm gonna have to talk to Dutch here. Let's see what he has to say. Where are you, Dutch? Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. Take it easy, son. <laughs> I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Hold up. You see that wagon? These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Dear me, that don't look good. Oh. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. No. Oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Deputy, get over here, please. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Impressive. You got a keen eye. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Dangerous business, the life of a lawman, isn't it? Appears so. I'm just glad we got Archibald here to show us the ropes. <laughs> Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Let's go on ahead. 
Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Let's see who these are. The lemon waders. The lemonades. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Let's do right. We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Forget the rider. Don't round him up later. Get the other one. You wait here. I'll deal with him. Okay. Make it quick. Get this one. Take that. Damn. Someone's coming. Stay out of sight. Anthony. Uh oh. Anthony, where you at, boy? Goddamn fool. Where you at, boy? I got this one. Pick up the moonshiner. Gather them up. destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so, real funny, tell me about <laughs> That is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Let's blow something up here. the dynamite without igniting it. Ignite.
fine bill. Where are you, Bill? Sons of bitches come from! Alright boys, we're putting you out of business! We're taking blood for every drop of that shine! Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Are we getting out of here then? How does it feel? Being a fine upholder of the law. Not that different to our normal lives so far. Who were those fellers? Not sure. Probably the people they were selling to. Guess we can't ask them now. And I thought I was protective over my liquor. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move. We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. <laughs> ah, loser. Oh, I am sorry, son. Well, yeah, spare the gloating, Dutch. Oh, I'm not a gloater. Why would I laugh at the fact that you haven't learned, after all these years, to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny.
I had fun with you today. Be well. You're... Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. <laughs> but you're more than that. I need a shaving, Arthur. That's too much hair on your face. If you like this video, guys, please stay tuned for another one on the next episode. Bye-bye. Have a nice one.